God teaches me with it. And, and, and I, I tell you today that we are living in a day and time that we're going to have to have the word. The Bible talks about a famine. I believe there's a famine in the land right now for the word of God, the truth of God's word. That's what I'm going to say, the truth of his word, because there's so many today that's teaching his word, but what they're teaching ain't the truth. What they're teaching is it's all right to sin, and it's not all right to sin. I'm telling you right now that the Bible says sin will not enter into the kingdom of heaven, and if you're in sin, then you're not in God. I'm here to tell you the Bible said that if the world accepts you, that means you are of the world, and the Bible, I tell you, Brother Clifford, and if we're not of the world, then the world ain't going to accept you. Amen. we got to separate ourselves Amen. from the world. Right. Do I believe it means we ain't supposed to talk to sinners? Lord, no. We need to talk to them now more than we've ever talked to them. We need to compel them to come into the house of God. But these these churches that are letting these people do all these things ungodly and still letting them think they're Christians. Brother Clifford, I'm telling you, that stuff ain't right. That's right. And, and us as pastors is going to lead these folks to hell if we ain't careful. And that's not what I want. I want to be able to help somebody make heaven their home. Amen. But the Bible also lets me know that he said, let the wheat and the tares grow up together and he'll do the separate. If we separate, we're going to tear up the wheat and the tares. That's right. That's right. But Sister Juanita, I believe it's a separation time. I believe it is a time of harvest. That's right. I believe that the, the field, the Bible said the field was ripe with harvest. That's right. And I believe it is time for us to get down to business with God. I want the church to pray for me that I'll go stronger in here. That I'll have more boldness, Brother Pip, don't even sit down here and hand it over to you. I want us to have more boldness than we've ever had. I want God to give me more wisdom than I've ever had. I want to know His Word, Sister Darling. I want to know it to help me, much less to help somebody else. Sister Juanita, we got to know the Word. we got to be able to grow in God's grace. And I, I'm just, I'm so grateful tonight that God has given me what wisdom he has given me, darling. I'm not the, the wisest man in the world when it comes to the word of God. But I'm here to tell you if it's in there, I know it's in there, Brother Clifford, if I hear it. That's right. I got enough of the spirit of the Lord in me to let me know it's there. Amen. And I'm grateful for that one of you because I've been in churches where I've heard something that wasn't right. And the Lord will hit me right immediately and let me know that he right. We need to be in a place where we get the truth of God's word. Amen, that's right. And even if it's tight, it's still right. Amen, that's right. It might be tight, but it's right. When it's tight, that's how you know it's right. If it's making you measure up and it's making your toes quench in your shoes, stretch up because you, you're getting them stepped on. Brother Clifford, I step on my own toes sometimes. I really do. But, you know, it's all right because it lets me know that God's still chastising me. And those that ch he chastises, he loves. And the Lord loves us. Each one of us. Y'all, give brother.